I just made the world's hottest hot sauce and I'm getting a cavity filled in 20 minutes. Hey, maybe I won't feel the cavity because of this. Here we go. All right, so it's Sunday morning at 6 a.m. I had to get up early because I have tennis today at 8. But before I do that, I'm setting up my charity live stream. So if you guys missed it on my other channel, I hit 500,000 subscribers. And to celebrate, we're doing a charity live stream on that channel. I guess by the time you guys are watching this, that live stream already happened. I hope it went well. I always get nervous for live streams. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better. Uh, all right, guys, so tennis went well. It was a lot of fun, but I got to get back for that live stream. And of course, I'm running late, and this snowstorm's not making it any easier. Is this what you want now? Or is it because you can't forget her? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I can't keep pretending. Wow. So the stream just went amazingly well. We just raised $5,600 for the Starlight Foundation. Thank you to anybody watching this video that donated in that live stream. I would love to do live streams like that in the future. $5,600. Wow. Focus, I just need to focus on So I made a deal with Sam a couple days ago that if she cleaned up the entire house of the Christmas decorations, I would get rid of the tree. The problem is I have no idea where to put this tree. All of my neighbors have fake trees, so we don't really put it out for the trash company. So every year I just have to take this tree and throw it in some random forest. Here we go again. Oh. Perfect spot. You can actually see our old one from last year. Look, totally gonna get poison ivy from this. <laughs> Here's our Christmas tree from 2019. It's a new family tradition. Ow. Ugh, Sam is not gonna be happy about this mess. I gotta get this cleaned up before she gets home. What do you think, Roxy? Thanks for the help. Okay, so when you're in a relationship, it's all about points. Sam cleans the entire house and gets rid of all the Christmas decorations. Points for her. I take down the Christmas tree and clean up all the needles. Points for me. You always want to make sure you have more points than the other person in the relationship because when, and it's going to happen, you screw up, that's negative points. And you don't want the negative points to take you lower. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, you got rid of the tree. Got rid of the tree and I cleaned up all the needles. Thank you. No problem. That was very nice. So it's Monday night. I was up in my room all day editing videos, but Sam got home and was like, why is it freezing? So I went to the thermostat. Guys, it's 56 degrees in here and dropping every minute. Our furnace is broken. And when I called the company, they can't come for another day. Well, Sam got me this hot sauce making kit for Christmas. So uh, this might be the perfect time to make a hot sauce. All right, we're on hour 10 with no furnace. It's about 52 degrees in here, so Sam and I have the fireplace on and we're watching movies. If we don't make it, I wanna give my channel to. actually really cool. So it comes with all the little hot sauce bottles you need. It comes with all the ingredients you need to make the hot sauce. It even has like these little tiny labels so you can label your bottle when you're done with your own label. 
And then it's got this danger open with caution thing. And inside it's got a real ghost pepper. Guys, this is the hottest pepper in the world. The instructions say use only a little bit of this, but I'm making the world's hottest hot sauce. So we're putting this entire pepper in there. The Tylenol is not for the hot sauce. I just have a headache. Stings the nostrils. Stings the nostrils. Well, this is a really inconvenient time to find out that my blender's broken. Hey mom, uh, so I'm making the world's hottest hot sauce and our blender's broken. So do you think I could come over and use yours? Yeah, of course you can. Alright, the hot sauce is done and bottled. You got your TFG sauce in store soon. Not really, it actually looks kind of disgusting. But I have an early dentist appointment, so it's like 9 a.m. right now, and I have some chicken nuggets in the oven. Nothing says breakfast like chicken nuggets and the world's hottest hot sauce. I just made the world's hottest hot sauce and I'm getting a cavity filled in 20 minutes. Hey, maybe I won't feel the cavity because of this. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so there's ghost pepper in here, eight habaneros, an ancho pepper. I don't even know what an ancho pepper is. This burns, man. My mouth is absolutely on fire, but I'm getting my cavity filled in literally 15 minutes. So I gotta get out of here. Ugh. Mom, have a good one. Bye, honey. I'm on my way to the dentist's office. I think I mentioned last week in the vlog, I haven't gotten a cavity filled since I was like nine years old. So I'm kind of nervous right now. I also just engulfed like 11 chicken nuggets smothered in the world's hottest hot sauce. So I'm chewing gum, but uh, I probably should have brushed my teeth before I went to the dentist. Uh, all right guys, so the cavity is done. I have no vocaine in my lips, so I can't really talk that well. Can you see it? So I'm gonna go across the street to my friend Steve's and I'm gonna have him try my hot sauce. Steve, you gotta taste my sauce. <laughs> so Steve doesn't have chicken nuggets or chips or wings or anything, so he's just taking a teaspoon of it straight. Bottoms up. <laughs> he didn't even try to act like he liked it, but to be fair, the hot sauce was terrible. But anyway, I'm in the basement. The furnace company just came and we got ourselves a brand new furnace. So yes, I had to pay $7,000, but at least Sam and I aren't gonna be freezing anymore. It actually feels warmer already. Nice. That's terrible. It's hot sauce. 